my gosh, guys. Yes! Let's go! That is like one of my favorite childhood toys right there. A little gator. Yeah, buddy! Woo! Oh, that brings me so much joy. Oh my gosh. That, just to tell you a little story, excuse my caveman beard, we're on the way to go get some razor blades, but I had one of those suckers as a kid when I was like four or five years old, and my dad said he had to replace the wheels on it numerous times because I wore out the plastic wheels and just literally just destroyed them to nothing. Said that he had to replace the gearbox, said he had to replace a whole bunch of stuff. He knew that little plastic gator better mechanically inside and out than he did any of his own actual vehicles by the time I I was done with it so that's just a fun little childhood memory I hope I never <laughs> never forget that it was such a fun little toy but back to the video razor blade secured I've been using the Phillips one blade let me know down in the comments what razor you use All right, folks, we made it. We're back at the HQ. It's a beautiful spring day. Got Gunner sitting over there looking mean, ready for some new breaks. Don't underestimate how good a clean shave feels. I feel like so fresh right now. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Jake. Welcome to the JD Cars Automotive YouTube channel. Today on JD Cars, we're replacing all four calipers, rotors, and pads on this 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sport. This is gonna be applicable to all Jeep JKs and JKUs. So that's 2007 through 2018. I've already torn into the rear because I had to replace my rear parking brakes. And we actually did this in about two hours time, which is a lot quicker than most people because most people will tell you you have to pull your whole rear axle shaft assembly. That's not the case. We did it in under two hours without removing our axle shaft. So if you need to replace your parking brakes, highly recommend checking out that video. We did it for under 40 bucks. But today's video is about these guys because our calipers are toast. We did some off-roading. We've submerged them a fair amount and this one has seized up completely. So is the driver front, and I'm sure the other two are on their way out. And I've got a pretty cool brake solution that I haven't seen anyone else on YouTube do. We're doing the Callahan Remanufactured Performance Brake Set. You get completely remanufactured brake calipers painted in red powder coat, ceramic pads, and drilled and slotted rotors for a fraction of the price of any of the big name brands like Terraflex or otherwise. I'm sure their big brake kits are great, but they're gonna run you like over $2,000 to do the whole set. And you know what we paid for this complete Callahan set? I think it was like 175 for the rear, maybe 200, and 270 for the front. We're coming in well under 500 bucks for calipers, rotors, and pads. I'm super excited to tear into them and find out what they look like. Let's do that right now before pulling off our old hardware. So talking a little bit more about the specifics of these rotors, they have much improved airflow and cooling. Something really cool that I noticed, we'll have to compare on the front rotors how big of a difference it is, but there's this big open kind of slit in the middle of the front rotors. And that's actually a huge amount of airflow increase for cooling. So big cooling increase and then being drilled and slotted that will also keep cooling down provide faster stops and these slots will help remove debris that are going to damage traditional rotors and pads this is the rotor from the passenger rear and you can see tons of scoring and scratching and uneven wear on this traditional rotor that's what happens typically on an off-road vehicle like this any debris that collects on the rotor or on the pads is gonna cause damage and it's gonna cause uneven wear as well. So, huge upside there, being drilled and slotted and they look cool. So our rotors look great, let's jump into our caliper box. And here we go. Woo, that looks nice. Oh, oh baby, beautiful powder coated red. Very nice. I've installed, uh, I've installed aftermarket calipers on other vehicles 
and they claim to be coated, they claim to be painted, but they end up rusting like a month later. So I'm super stoked to see a nice, thick, quality powder coat finish on this. I don't see any exposed areas. It appears to be a very nice, thick, durable coating. And they're red, which is gonna go with Gunner's theme, so that's sick. Last but certainly not least, our pads. Pretty generic looking pads, but they are ceramic, so pretty good quality looking pads. We'll see how good they stop. Figure while we have the rear wheels and tires off, we might as well start in the rear. If you were stock, this is what it would look like. You would have your stock rotor installed and your stock caliper. I have mine resting up here, but your caliper will be mounted right here with two 18 millimeter bolts. Either very carefully rest your caliper up here or better yet, grab yourself a brake clip, clip it right here and you'll be safe. Once we have our caliper somewhere safe, we can just pull off our stock rotor and we're ready to get going on our new brake set. So we'll take our new Calhan brake rotor and I will quickly note, if you have a bunch of rust right here, take a wire wheel or a wire brush to it, clean the surface up a little bit and it'll pay off in the long run. We can take our new Calhan rotor, install it. Now for the messy part that you're gonna want gloves for, <laughs> replacing the caliper. So pretty easy. Um, I do have my new caliper on standby here. We're gonna see if our little, little snap-on ratchet can break this loose. It's a 15 millimeter bolt on our caliper here. All right, time to bring out the big guns. This is uh, very corroded, so not typical to use an impact on your caliper, but we're replacing this, so here we go. There it is. Brake fluid that's gonna be leaking out of this, moment, or already is leaking out of this, is very corrosive. Grab yourself a bag, protect any components while we're doing this. Just remembered, Callahan does include some new crush washers. These two little guys, those will go on either side of our brake line block where the bolt squeezes and goes into the caliper. All right, take off our old crush washers, get rid of those. Try to work quickly so we don't lose too much fluid. My other crush washer is stuck on here. All right, broke that off. There's the other old crush washer. This thing is toast. Good thing we're replacing them. New crush washer on our bolt. We'll have the other one on standby right here. Put our bolt through the block. Grab our new caliper. Try not to get too much brake fluid on it because it is corrosive. Pull out the little plug here. And we'll screw our brake line into the new caliper. Now, in an effort to avoid that same situation, I'm not going to use the impact. I don't suggest using an impact on calipers. I'm just going to torque this down maybe to maybe 25, 30 foot pounds. I'm just going to go back with a hand wrench and make sure that this is adequately tightened. Yep, so our new caliper is now installed. That's kind of the most stressful and challenging part is just trying to swap that out quickly so you don't lose too much fluid. Now we need to install our pads and we can install the caliper on the Jeep. So the first step to getting our new pads installed is installing the little clips here that actually allow those pads to slide easily and freely. We'll note there are two different style clips. You can see there's a left and a right here. So do take note of that. This right clip, so to speak, goes over here just clips on like so. And I'll show you the left one here as well. Boom. So, that easy. There's one side. We gotta do the other side really quickly here. There it is. Now we do have two different rear brake pads here. One of them has a clip on it, one of them does not. The one with the clip is gonna go towards the inside of the caliper. And it's gonna drop in just like so. Might take a little bit of pressure to, to get your pads into the new clips. Just make sure that you slide it back evenly and you shouldn't have any issues. You're going to push it all the way back so that this pad is pressing against the piston and it's nice and tucked away there. Now you can grab the other pad, the one that doesn't have a clip on it, just like so. And uh, that's it. That's really all there is to it. We're going to bolt this back on and lead the brake system.
I can hardly believe it, but after torquing down our two 18 millimeter bolts to 25 foot pounds, we're done. That's it. We've swapped to a performance brake set, replaced our rotors, calipers, and pads, and that took maybe like half an hour. It was super quick, super easy, and yeah. So I'm gonna go crank the other side, and I'll check in with you guys when I'm up front. It's gonna be virtually the same exact process, but bolt sizes are a little bit different. So I'll check in with you when I'm up there. Yeah, so we ripped the rear brakes. The rear is completely done. That took, you know, 20 minutes on that side after doing the driver's side. <laughs> rear is looking mint. Really happy with that. I came out. We're about to do our last break here. I've already taken care of the driver's side front. I heard no, sorry. Passenger side front. Come check it out. Woo, baby. Woo. Oh, nice. Yeah. So the front was pretty easy, um, not much different from the rear. I'm gonna show you the two slight differences right now. The first being, of course, the front can turn unlike the rear, so we can turn this knuckle all the way to the right. If you need a little bit more room, you can crank the steering wheel, but... Freaking Hercules over here. Oh, I know. <laughs> and uh, the only other difference between changing out the rear caliper and the front caliper is that the front here is gonna have 21 millimeter caliper bolts, top and bottom. Uh, other than that, we have a 15 millimeter brake line hose bolt, and it's the same exact procedure as the rear. All right, so all four calipers, rotors, and sets of pads are installed on the JKU. Andrew's about to give me a hand with the bleeding process, and in case you're not familiar, you're gonna wanna start with the caliper furthest away from the reservoir. So because our reservoir is right over the driver wheel, that's gonna be our last wheel. We're gonna go passenger rear, driver rear, passenger front, driver front. And uh, we'll show you how to do that right now. All right. What are you doing on the ground? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brake bleeding's making some funny noises, but uh, I just remembered, I wanna, get, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a rundown how to do this. So the easiest way is to have a buddy sit in the driver's seat have them pump the brake pedal like a dozen times and then hold it about halfway through. You're gonna take a 10 millimeter, crack your bleeder screw, and we'll just show you in real time. You wanna pump it a few times? Yeah. And hold it in the middle. Ready? All right, so Andrew's holding the brake. I'm gonna crack this. See all those air bubbles coming out? I'm gonna close it really quick. Now Andrew can take his foot off the pedal, pump it again. He's holding it, and that's a solid stream of fluid, so I'm gonna close it, and put the cap back on, and move on to the next caliber. Well, I forgot to charge the battery, despite being in here all day. So, jump start time again. Woo! Yeah, baby. She stops. Hey, what do you know? We didn't. We didn't break it. We did something right. <laughs> All right, I'll take her out the driveway and make sure it works. All right. Oh, I had no idea. I thought he was going straight for the gladiator. <laughs> yeah, she works. Ah. Oh. Oh, I gotta tighten them a little. I think, but put it in neutral. And pull the parking brake and see how much it moves. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Goes ride the whip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's gonna wrap up this video on an entire caliper, rotor, and pad replacement. <laughs> replacement on this 2014 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Yeah, it was honestly a pretty easy job. We did parking brakes and the full brake system today. Still got some time to spare. We're gonna go play around with this rough country winch. But I hope you guys have found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please go leave a like down below. Subscribe for more Jeep content, and we'll see you next time on JD Cars.